Alright guys, welcome back to, what is this, part, part 5, I guess our last one was part 4, and I promised in my last video I would briefly go over um, binding in WPF, binding in different elements, and then binding from different uh, properties in the code behind. So we're going to quickly go over that, and the reason I say quickly, uh, I have a chicken pot pie in the toaster oven, and it'd be a shame if that thing burnt, so I'm going to try to make this as brief and concise as possible, which isn't one of my strong suits. But uh, Before we get started real quick, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. The um, whole purpose of this channel is to, uh, for me, to learn new things when it comes to programming and then share that, uh, gain knowledge with you guys. It's pretty much all this is, so it benefits us both. Anyway, um, today we're going to talk about binding. So what is binding? Binding is essentially, it, it, I'm not reading this from anywhere, I'm just stating as how I see it. It is a way for us to take um, data from one element to another without having to fire some kind of event. So before, uh, if you watched my last video, we put in a name here, we put add name, and then that name appeared up here. Essentially what we're going to do is, we're going to do that without the event going on. Um, we're just going to display the name as we type it in this text box. So I can show you how we do that. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm in my, I changed the label. Actually, let's change it back to a label. That's fine. Um, instead of text now, this is content. Uh, I was just kind of playing around before starting this video. Um, so I have a label here. And this is how it was before, and now we have a content. And before, we just had our content set to a blank. And then when we hit this, we had um, name label dot content equals whatever was in here dot text. So now we're just going to bind the content of this text box to the or the text of this text box to the content of this label. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and put in two curly braces and then we add binding. You can see IntelliSense uh, kind of assumed that we were going to do some binding. And let's do element name and you can see that IntelliSense brings up all of the different elements by name currently in this page. So we have uh, main text box is the one that we want, right? And then we have to give it what part of main text box do we want to grab the content of? Do we want um, do we want the actual height to be displayed or bound? Do we want uh, all of these different properties that the text box has? But the one that we want is actually the text property. We want to grab that text property from the text box. So now if we go ahead and run this, <coughs> As I type, I know I'm I'm sorry. This is a little small for those of you, uh, you know, watching at a, a lower resolution. Um, I recommend 1080p. And anyway, as I type my name in here, you can see each letter as I type is now displayed uh, in this label. So it's pretty neat. Notice how we don't have to fire any kind of events. We don't have to create any kind of events to do this. We just simply bound it. So that's one way of binding an element's uh, property to another element in a way. So let's go ahead and talk real quickly about how we can bind uh, to the code behind. Because that's another thing you want to do. Maybe you have some kind of property in your class. Uh, for instance, I created this name. And instead of hi there, I'm just going to put in my name. Oops. I'm just going to put in my name so we have this name property of our class and let's say we want to bind it to this label from the good bind instead of rather from some kind of element. So instead of element by name um, we just do path. Path is equal to and then the variable uh, is name which is just name. So now if you notice, we run it though, nothing is going to occur because binding doesn't really know where to look for this name. Uh, and that's something that we have to initialize right when 
we run the constructor main window for our class. So right under initialize component, we are going to do this dot data context is equal to this. Data context is really just setting the default of where this binding is going to look. So it's like, okay, where do I look for name? I have no idea. Um, oh wait, this dot data context is now equal to this, which is this whole class right here. Uh, I'm going to look in this class for name, and now it'll be able to find it. So if we go ahead and run, you can see um, that Brandon is now bound. It's now able to find that name property uh, and go ahead and do it that way. So those are two little examples of very powerful um, yet kind of simple, right? We didn't have to add a whole lot of code. We just simply added this binding into the content and we can do so much with it without having to create different events to do so. So those are two examples of binding. Of course, there's a lot more in-depth things you can do with binding. Maybe we'll do that in the future. But like I said, I don't want my pot pie to burn. That's a good reason to end it right here. But hopefully you guys learned something about binding. I suggest you guys, uh, you know, create two different properties or two different elements rather um, in your own application. Kind of play around with binding and get a feel for it and the syntax and stuff. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next video. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do in the next video. I'm, I'm thinking of what we should do. In the future I would like to just create some kind of simplistic application from scratch. I go from a blank canvas and then us together we create that application. Then you can show that off on your resume or your uh, portfolio, put it on your LinkedIn page, whatever you want um, as something, a desktop application besides a command line one uh, that you created that has a nice user interface and is easy for the user to use. I think that's something very beneficial for your career and trying to obtain a career. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.